Concerns are growing over the future of more than 250 Ukrainian fighters who surrendered to Russian forces at the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol. While Ukraine has called for an immediate prisoner swap of the soldiers, Russian officials on the other hand have suggested the soldiers could be tried or even executed. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, 265 of them were taken into Russian captivity. The ministry published images showing soldiers on stretchers as the injured were transported to a hospital in the eastern Donetsk region. Russian news agency TASS says the Russian investigative committee is planning to question the soldiers. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov refused to say whether they would be treated as criminals or prisoners of war. However, Peskov says that President Vladimir Putin has guaranteed that they will be treated according to the relevant international laws. Meanwhile, the Defense Ministry in Kyiv says it was hoping for an exchange procedure to repatriate the Ukrainian heroes as quickly as possible. After the strategic port city of Mariupol fell to Russian forces, a relentless Ukrainian military unit held out under the plant. Ukraine has hailed the soldiers as heroes for stalling Moscow's invasion. Ukraine government is willing to do everything necessary to rescue the undisclosed number of personnel still hauled up in bunkers. But it also admitted there was no military option available. The conflict has left thousands dead and forced millions to flee their homes. Russian forces stand accused of committing war crimes and to gather evidence of alleged crimes. The International Criminal Court is deploying its largest ever field team to Ukraine. The team includes 42 investigators, forensic experts and support staff. The U.S. State Department has also announced a special unit to research, document and publicize Russian war crimes. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.